Right, the next set of trig identities we're going to look at is what's known as the T results. T representing the tan of theta on 2, or half an angle if you like. So we had double angle results, these are sort of, you could say, half angle results. We know tan 2 theta is 2 tan theta on 1 minus tan squared theta. So if I replace 2 theta with theta, and then on the right hand side I replace theta with theta on 2, I have the same result, double angle. But now if I'm letting t equal tan theta on 2, I can rewrite tan theta as 2t on 1 minus t squared. That becomes my t result for tan. Now what I'll do is I'll draw up a triangle, so opposite is 2t, adjacent is 1 minus t squared. Bit of Pythagoras, and we should be able to work out the hypotenuse eventually. Yeah, that's a perfect square. So the hypotenuse would be 1 plus t squared. So now I can get my t results for sine and, and cosine. So if t is equal to tan theta on 2, then tan theta, 2t on 1 minus t squared. Sine theta, 2t on 1 plus t squared and cosine theta, 1 minus t squared on 1 plus t squared. Note, I can still use the t results even if tan is not theta on 2. If I let t equal tan theta, then tan 2 theta would become 2t on 1 minus t squared. If, tan, if t was tan 2 theta, then tan 4 theta would become 2t or 1 minus t squared. So again, it's just that double angle, half angle relationship. You can use it for whatever you want. So the standard one is t equals tan theta on 2, and we use it for tan theta, cos theta, sine theta. It's all right. Let's prove this little relationship. 1 minus cos x on sine x is simply equal to t, where t is representing tan x on 2. So I'll substitute in my t results. So cosine, whoops, 1 minus t squared on 1 plus t squared, sine 2t on 1 plus t squared. So I guess what we're noticing, although they've given us the big hints anyway, because they've said where t equals tan x on 2, but had we not noticed that, x is double x on 2, so I can use the t results, because double angle, half angle. The lovely thing about the t results when we're only dealing with cos and sine and fractions is the denominators are the same. So you can get rid of the denominators real easy. You just multiply top and bottom by 1 plus t squared. So the 1 becomes 1 plus t squared. Tidying that up, I now have 2t squared on 2t, which is t, which is what we wanted to, to prove there. Now we want to simplify 2 tan 75 on 1 plus tan squared. And they've given us a hint, use the t result to do it. Because the first time you look at that, you're thinking of the tan 2 theta result. But of course tan 2 theta is 2 tan on 1 minus tan squared. So it's not the tan 2 theta result. But use the t result. It's all right. 2t on 1 plus t squared. That represented which one of the three? Okay. So, if I let t be the tan 75, in other words, theta is 150 for this, but I've got 2 tan 75 on 1 plus tan squared, so 2t on 1 plus t squared, which is the t result for sine theta, but in our case, 75 is the half, so 150 is the, the whole, so we're talking about sine 150 degrees there. Okay, sine 150. Second quadrant, sine's positive. The acute angle would be 30. Sine 30, half. So that turns out to be a half. Another trig proof. Now, they haven't told me to use the T results here. But it seems to make sense. I'm either going to use the T results or I'm going to use the double angle results because you'll notice on one side I've got an angle of theta on two. On the left side I've got an angle of theta. So one is double the other. 
So as I say, I'm either going to use the double angle results or the T results. And seeing the right hand side is simply T, if I let T equal tan theta on 2, it seems logical to, to use that. So I'm going to let T equal tan theta on 2. So on the left hand side, I can sub in my T results. And you'll notice again, because I'm just dealing with signs and coses, all those denominators are 1 plus t squared. So I can multiply everything by 1 plus t squared. We have 1 plus t squared plus 2t minus all of 1 minus t squared on the top. 1 plus t squared plus 2t plus 1 minus t squared on the bottom. What does that tidy up to be? 2t squared plus 2t on top. 2 plus 2t on the bottom. Again, okay, there's some factorizing there. 2t, t plus 1, 2, 1 plus t. Everything cancels there, except, of course, I'm left with t. But we said t was tan theta on 2. So there's my proof. It does equal tan theta on 2. Here's one from an HSC. By making the substitution, so they've told us we're going to use the T results. And uh, so we're going to show cosec plus cot is in fact cot of theta on 2. All right. Cosec is reciprocal of sine. So I want the sine result upside down for cosec. Cot is the reciprocal of... So I want the tan T result upside down for the, the second one. So cosec plus cot... That's nice, and normally it's the same. So I can add those together, and I get 1 over t. So the reciprocal of t, well, hang on, t was tan theta on 2, reciprocal of tan, cot theta on 2. So we have that. So let's uh, add some t result questions to our, our list to do.